Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better man. I'm about to show y'all why James Harden is still that guy. The Clippers will be winning the NBA championship. Watch this play. 124-105. James Harden has the ball. You know what time it is. That's just, that's just, that's too easy for him. Way too easy for him. But it's only going to get better. Remember the score. 124. Look, James Harden, once again, with the ball. Remember, 124. Just keep looking at that score. He's just having fun. Oh, he's just having fun with him. Look, he's just doing dribble, 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 knockdown. Now, that's two threes in a row, and it continues. So, look, James Harden just hit back-to-back -back threes. He has the ball. You know he's feeling it. He got Buddy Hield on him. Buddy Hield, you cannot guard him. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. You got him looking stupid. That one's even sexier. Oh, my goodness. Look at Russell Westbrook. Look at Russell Westbrook and Bones. Oh, my goodness. Look at them. Look at them. Look at the pot. Oh, my God. Dog, right? So, that's three to four threes he already made. Remember what I said? Check the score. They had 124 points, right? James Hart is not done. James Hart is not done. He's just having fun now. Oh, and one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my, a four point play. This dude, James Harden, cannot be stopped. This is scary. Wow, that's a bad man. Really? NBA champions? See, that's, what, that's, what, that's what's wrong with y'all, Clippers fans. Y'all going good stretch, and y'all automatically think y'all gonna be NBA champions. But you know what? I'm impressed. I'm going to break y'all down this whole video. I want y'all to get y'all popcorn. I know it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't give, I don't, I don't care. I want y'all to get y'all popcorn, get y'all, get your water, get your, I don't you get any kind of juice because y'all going to sit back and y'all going to listen to this video. Clippers fans, listen, I'm impressed. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about James Harden and the Los Angeles Clippers are proving everyone wrong right now, including me. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We're back again with another video. Listen, y'all are on a seven-game winning streak, and y'all are killing it. Y'all are, y'all been hooping, like, hooping, hooping. Y'all blow it out the Indiana Pacers last night, and listen. I want y'all to pump the brakes, especially the duty out y'all just saw in the, in the clip. Pump the brakes. Relax. Relax. Y'all scored 151 points against a team that came to find defense. They look in this ring, they're like, defense? Who the was that? They are the worst defensive team in the league. They don't know how to defend uh, uh, the basketball in general. The basketball could dribble between their legs. It don't matter. So, yes, James Harden was cooking. He wasn't just cooking. He was grilling. He was grilling. He was having a cookout. He was an uncle at a your local cookout session. Grilling hot dogs, burgers, turkey burgers, chicken, steak. It don't matter. He was cooking. Okay? But I'm going to talk about this whole team. Seven-game winning streak. On this whole winning streak, y'all beat the Kings. Darren Fox is a, is a dog. Y'all held them to 14 points. Y'all beat the Warriors twice, and with Curry struggled twice against this team. Y'all beat, obviously, Indiana just now. Y'all beat the Knicks, in which y'all shut down Jalen Brunson. Then y'all beat Utah. That's a bye, that's a bye game. And then y'all also beat Denver. See, that's that's a comp seven-game winning streak. I got to give y'all credit. So let's break down this team. First of all, this is the person I want to give a amount of love to. Russell Westbrook. If it wasn't for his decision to come off the bench, I don't think this winning streak will happen. Let's point that out. If it wasn't for Russell Westbrook to come out the um, most... To be the unselfish player that he is, a, a, a MVP, a triple-double crown. For him to come off the bench and only average 11 points, about six to seven assists, he's the reason why y'all on his win streak. He's the biggest reason, actually. But 
This also this is also some reasons for also. Yes, James Harden's hooping, but I'm gonna explain how James Harden's hooping. Compare compare him from Philly. Compare from Brooklyn. Don't really compare him from Houston because that was his team. James Harden has space to operate. When he was on Philly, he has space, but he was more facilitator to Joel Embiid because he's an MVP. So he has to always worry about Embiid getting the ball, right? Because he needs the ball in the post. He sometimes he needs the ball in the block. He needs the ball always in the paint. Like he needs the ball. So James Harden really had that, not that much option to score. Now he does on the Clippers because the Clippers, Kawhi, who has been playing, Kawhi has been playing like the 2019 Toronto Raptors, Kawhi Leonard. This is the Kawhi Leonard we're seeing right now. You know why? Because is it because James Harden and Paul George is making space around his whole team to operate. Kawhi doesn't need the ball. He'll get his butt. He'll get he'll get his buckets, and he, it's 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 just playing in the game. Kawhi's gonna get to his spot. Mid range, midi, all day. You can't stop it, right? And behind the behind the three ball, he's shooting lights out, shooting almost over sixty percent from three point range. Now, this winning streak. Then Paul George is another one. He's going to get his steals. He's going to get his athleticism in the paint. He's going to make his moves. So he doesn't need the ball like that. James Harden has the ball where he can operate, right? He's playing like old James Harden. And they are surrounding him like they did in Philly with shooters. But in this instant, it's a little more selfish now because he doesn't need to get the ball to Kawhi Leonard because they're going to get there. They gonna, him, him and Paul George, they're going to get theirs. No matter what. Now, you also have Bones coming off the bench, Russell Westbrook, Norman Powell, who's been a player nobody's been talking about, who's been a big part of this team. And unfortunately, P.J. Tucker just does not fit on this team. He doesn't. But they will try to figure out a way to fit him, but I, I think they eventually, because they'll have to make a trade for him. For him. They're going to have to. I don't think P.J. Tucker really. They just got him just because they're afraid. I'm just, I'm just pointing it out. But... James Harden is, is operating like he did in Houston right now because of the unselfishness of the rest of the team, especially Russell Westbrook. I mean, you just can't, you can't say nothing about him. Why he gets criticized so much? I, I'm, he's the most hated player in the NBA. I'm sorry. He really is. And it's, it's unfair to him. But so this is the pros, what I'm saying, about the LA Clippers. I'm going to get to some more pros before I get to the cons. Defensively, lights out. I seen y'all shut down Tyrese, and I see how y'all did it. Pass deflections, pass lanes, non-existent. I mean, y'all was stacking the pass lane. He had nowhere to pass the ball. Every time he got to the lane, it was stuffed by Zubats, and Zubats been hooping too. Give him some love. He's been clocking that paint. Every time Tyrese got in the lane, nobody open. He had to throw up a shot or he had to get a turnover. Every time he, he have a fast break, Paul George is right there to fuck the pass and go to the other end. So Tyrese had a, a long game last night. And they've been doing this with all these elite point guards. They've been facing on this streak. De'Aaron Fox, Steph Curry. Yoke is not a point guard, but Yoke is, is a facilitator. And now Tyrese Halliburton and Jalen Brunson. So... They are really good at deflecting the pass. Paul George leads the lead in steals. They're doing a great job. And you know Kawhi, what he brings to the table defensively. And James Harden, I'm give him credit. He's been playing great defense also. Now let's get to the cons. Still, y'all look like it's still 1v1 offensively. Worries me in, That's when it comes to the playoffs. That worries me a lot. That 1v1 would not work. Y'all got to cut that out. Yes, y'all are being faster paced with the 1v1s, but it's not going to work. Y'all are still 22nd in the lead in passing. No. Y'all got to pass the ball, facilitate the ball more. 
get, get the ball flowing, maybe do a second, seven second offense, in which that looks like y'all been doing, but in the playoffs, y'all got to move the ball more, okay? The 1v1 action would not cut it. It's not just James Harden. It's Kawhi and it's Paul George that's doing it too. Move the ball more, okay? Move the ball more. Second is rebounding, which y'all are improving on. But when it comes to the big, the big boys, I mean, when it comes to like the big teams, like, you know, the Timberwolves, Denver, you know, those teams, they have guys that can rebound the ball for real. Yes, y'all have James Harden. Yes, y'all have Zuba. Yes, y'all have Paul George. Russell Westbrook come off the bench and rebound. That's going to, that's, that's going to flesh y'all a little bit when it comes to rebound. But honestly, so far, what I'm seeing, that's the only cons what I'm seeing. Ty Lu, you know what kind of coach she is. So I'm not really this surprised by this because I feel like they finally figured it out. But we got to see how the rest of the season goes and see how they continue with this play. And when they get to the playoffs, because they are going to get to the playoffs, they're playing like this. How would this work in the playoffs? They're going to continue this lineup? Are they going to improve from passing the ball more? Or et cetera? That's all I got to say for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Give your boy a like. Subscribe to your channel if you're new. Give it to a thousand subscribers for this year's show over. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. And I'll catch y'all next time. It's been your boy, Will, and I'm out.